Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. We begin our celebration. We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, let us now acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Together we say, I confess to Almighty God and to, and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my, through my fault, through my, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Enable us, we pray, Almighty God, to proclaim the power of the risen Lord that we who have received the pledge of his gift may come to possess all he gives when it is fully revealed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was, one, was of one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own, but they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and a great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy person among them, for those who own property or houses would sell them, bring the proceeds of the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles. And they were distributed to each to according to need. Thus, Joseph, also named by the apostles Barnabas, which is translated son of encouragement, a Levite, a Cypriot, by birth, sold the piece of property that he owned, then brought the money and put it at the feet of the apostles. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is king. He is robed in majesty. The Lord is king. He is robed in majesty. The Lord is king in splendor robed. Robed is the Lord and geared about with strength. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. And he has made the world firm, not to be moved. Your throne stands firm from of old, from everlasting you are, O Lord. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. Your decrees are worthy of trust indeed. Holiness befits your house, O Lord, for length of days. The Lord is King, He is robed in majesty. Please all stand. The Son of Man must be lifted up, 
so that everyone who believes in Him may have eternal life. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Each year, Jesus' parents went to Jerusalem for the Feast of Passover. And when Jesus was 12 years old, they went up according to festival custom. After they had completed its days, as they were returning, the boy Jesus remained behind in Jerusalem, but his parents did not know it. Thinking that Jesus was in the caravan, they journeyed for a day and looked for him among their relatives and acquaintances. But not finding him, they returned to Jerusalem to look for him. After three days, they found Jesus in the temple sitting in the midst of the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were astounded at his understanding and his answers. When Jesus' parents saw him, they were astonished. And his mother said to him, Son, why have you done this to us? Your father in high and I have been looking for you with great anxiety. And Jesus said to them, Why were you looking for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? But his parents did not understand what he said to them. Jesus went down with them and came to Nazareth and was obedient to them. And his mother kept all these things in her heart. And Jesus advanced in wisdom and age and favor before God and people. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Isang bagay siguro na karaniwang ginagawa nating mga tao ay gumawa ng listahan. Bago siguro tayo gumawa ng meeting o magsimula ng mga meetings, sinusulat natin kung ano yung mga agenda natin. Kung siguro tayo ay mamimili, gumagawa siguro tayo ng mga listahan. Pag nagsimula siguro yung taon, gumagawa tayo ng list ng mga activities, ng mga schedule. Isang bagay yan na ginagawa natin o karaniwang ginagawa nating mga tao. Gumagawa tayo ng mga listahan na sapagkat gusto nating organize siguro ang ating mga activities. At gusto nating maalala yung mga bagay-bagay na importante para sa atin. At kung pag-uusapan natin yung mga bagay-bagay na gusto nating ilagay sa listahan o gusto nating maalala lagi, ito yung mga bagay-bagay na maganda para sa atin. Ito yung mga bagay-bagay na mabubuti para sa atin. Ito yung mga bagay-bagay na natutuwa o nagbibigay saya sa atin kapag ka inaalala natin. No? Kaya nga siguro kung meron tayong mga memories na gustong alalahanin, sinusulat natin yung mga bagay-bagay na yon. Kaya nga siguro dati nauso yung mga photo album, ano? nandun lahat ng mga activities na nangyari. Somehow parang list ng mga magagandang bagay na nangyari sa atin. Kasi nga gusto nating alalahanin ang mga bagay-bagay na yon. Now, in our gospel today, parang merong something extraordinary na, na ginagawa ang ating mahal na ina, si Mama Mary. Kung ang karaniwan, ang gusto nating ilagay sa listahan or gusto nating maalala lagi ay yung mga mabubuti at mga magagandang bagay, importanteng bagay na gusto nating maalala, ang ating mahal na ina, eh, nilagay sa parang listahan ng kanyang buhay yung nangyari sa araw na ito. O dun sa gospel, dun sa kwento nung, nung gospel natin ngayon. Ano ba yung nangyari? It was the losing of Jesus. Nawala ang kanyang anak. It was, and it was not just for ilang minutes. 
ilang oras. It was for three long days that they were looking for Jesus. Mary and Joseph were looking for Jesus. And it was clear that they were you know, in anxiety. Sobrang alala nila. Tatlong araw ba naman mawala ang anak mo? Malamang ito yung sa mga nanay na nandito. Ito yung bagay na iniiwasan nila. No? Naalala ko tuloy yung aking nanay. There was one time na nagkaroon ng konting salo-salo sa aming bahay. And apat po kami magkakapatid eh, ng mga lalaki. And then, when the celebration was almost done, she noticed na parang kulang yata yung mga anak niya. Nawawala yung isa, nawawala yung aking kapatid. And I still remember the anxiety of my mother knowing na nawawala yung kanyang isang anak. Na sobrang kitang-kita ko yung nanay ko. Umiiyak siya talaga and she was looking in, in all of the places in the house habang hinahanap yung aking kapatid. And lo and behold, sumama pala doon sa kumare ng aking nanay na Michelle Sandali. Hindi nagpaalam sa kanya. Pero kitang-kita ko yung pag-aalala ng aking nanay. Ano? Ito yung bagay na ayaw ng mga nanay mangyari na mawala ang kanyang anak. Hindi ito maganda para sa kanila. Siguro malamang lamang ang nanay ko ayaw alalahanin yung araw na yon. Kasi hindi maganda na experience. Hindi magandang alalahanin. Kung pwedeng burahin yung bagay na yon sa mga listahan, buburahin. Pero ang ating mahal na ina, si Mama Mary, ang sabi dito, His mother, Mary, kept all of these things in her heart. Mary kept that event, the time when Jesus was lost for three days, in her heart. Isang hindi magandang alaala, pero tinatago ni Maria. Lalong-lalo na yung mga conversation niya with Jesus. Sabi ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo, Why were you looking for me? Kakaiba, no? Anak, sasabihan niya yung nanay niya. Ba't mo ko hinahanap? Did you know that I need to be in my father's house? Parang sinasabi ni Jesus, Huwag mo akong hanapin. Kailangan kong umalis sa puder mo. Kasi kailangan kong pumunta sa bahay ng aking ama. And these were not easy words for Mary. These were not sweet words. These were difficult to chew on. Mahirap marinig yun galing sa kanyang anak. But then again, she kept all of these things in her heart. Then we ask why. Why? Bakit kaya yung mga bagay na ito nilalagay pa rin ni Maria sa kanyang puso? I think the answer to that question is Jesus wants uh, Mary, Mary, rather wants all of these things in her heart because she would like to remember always Jesus in her heart. That in remembering her son, she could keep on listening, listening to her God. Mary knew that her son is not an ordinary boy. Mary knew that Jesus had his mission to fulfill. Kaya nga every step of the way, Mary was there looking intently at her son, keeping a list, keeping a record in her heart, all of these events that is happening. Because she knew that there are many things that she do not understand now. But as, as, as she would, you know, parang replay it 
in her memories, in her heart, she could still discover many things sa mga nangyayaring bagay na ito. Kapag ka pinakinggan niya ulit yung mga pangyayaring iyon na nasa kanyang alaala at sa kanyang puso, marami siyang madidiskubre. Marami siyang matututunan na kung haharap siya sa mga pagsubok ng buhay, hindi siya basta-basta nalang bibigay. Hindi siya basta-basta nalang bibitaw sa pangako ng Diyos sa Kanya. Magiging matatag pa rin ang Kanyang pananaling. Kaya nga ano, kahit na nandun siya sa paanan ng krus ng kanyang anak. It must have been a very difficult day. It must have been very painful for her. But even if that is the case, she did not waver in her faith. Nanalig at nanampalataya pa rin ang ating mahal na ina sa kanyang Diyos at sa kanyang anak na lahat ng mga nangyayaring ito kahit na masakit kahit na mahirap meron at merong mabubuting maidudulot hindi lamang para sa kanya kundi para sa ating lahat saan siya humugot saan siya kumuha ng lakas na yon from the lists from the memories in her heart Binabalikan niya lahat ng mga events that she was with her son. Kaya nga, she keeps all of these things in her heart. Hindi niya binibitawan yung mga bagay-bagay na yun. Now, what, it, what does it mean to us? Ano yung challenge para sa atin ngayon? Sa tingin ko, kung si Maria would, you know, would remember and keep all of these things in her heart, then she would, you know, listen to it again and again. She goes on with her faith, with, with her journey in life. Sa atin, medyo baliktad. The challenge, I think, for us is to listen intently so that we may fill our hearts with many memories of our Lord and our God. We listen intently. You know, the grace of God is not always something na, you know, expressed in, 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 in a manner na parang, parang kakaiba lagi, no? na parang miraculous lagi yung dating. Ang iniisip natin minsan, ay nako kapag ka miraculous yung nangyari, nandyan ang Diyos. At na doon tayo madalas na-attract. Kaya nga siguro maraming gustong pumunta sa simbahan ng Manawag. Kasi uy, nagmimilagro doon, nandun ang Diyos. Totoo naman yan. Totoo naman yan. But it does not mean that in the ordinary days of our lives, hindi nagpaparamod ang Diyos. Palaging nagpaparamdam ang Diyos sa atin. Palaging ibinibigay niya yung grasya niya sa atin. All that we need to do is to listen intently. Listen intently. Because even in the ordinary things that we do, even in the ordinary experiences that we have, Jesus might be talking to us through this. Meron akong kakilala. Ang ganda ng kwento niya. Sabi niya, alam mo, Father, na-appreciate ko lalo yung, 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 yung ating Eucharist, yung ating Misa. Over nung breakfast kaninang umaga, yun yung kwento. Paano nangyari yun? Sabi ko, paano nangyari? Paano mo na-appreciate yung Eucharist? Sabi niya kasi, nakahawak ako ng pandisal at bago ko kainin, hinati ko muna yung pandisal at saka nakita ko yung, 
yung mga crumbs na nahuhulog doon sa pandesal. And was and I was I, when I was looking at the pandesal, nung hinati kong ganyan, biglang pumasok sa isip ko yung 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 hirap ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo na dinanas. Yung mga sugat na dinanas niya. Parang yung pandesal nung pinunit ko, parang ganun yung mga flesh ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo na nasugat. Nang yung mga crumbs na nahuhulog, parang yung dugo ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo na lubabas sa kanyang mga sugat. All because He wants to nourish our spiritual lives. Parang yung pandesal na nagnonourish sa katawan ko. Pandesal lang yung pinag-uusapan, ano? But then, she was listening intently to what was happening in her lives. Kaya nga kahit very ordinary, there was grace na pumasok sa kanyang isipan, pumasok sa kanyang puso. Mas na-appreciate niya lalo yung Eucharist. And that is why, ito siguro yung magandang gawin nating lahat. To listen intently, even in the ordinary things. Because we do not know our God is talking to us through this. Grace is being showered upon us, even in the ordinary. Kaya kailangan makinig ng mabuti. Habang nakikinig ng mabuti, kapag nakita natin yung grasya ng ating Panginoong Diyos that is working in us and even through us we keep all of this in our hearts keeping it as good memories of our lives nang sa gayon kapag kaharap tayo sa mga pagsubok ng buhay meron tayong laging babalik-balikan meron tayong laging maaalala na ang Diyos hindi tayo iniiwan Kasi, nandyan lagi sa ating puso eh. Nandyan lagi sa ating isipan. Hindi tayo magsasabi, kapag ka dumadanas na tayo ng hirap ng buhay, kagaya na itong pandemya, hindi natin sasabi nasa ng Diyos? Nawawala na yata ang Diyos? Hindi natin masasabi kasi alam natin, by keeping all of these memories, nandyan lang siya sa puso natin. At nandyan sa isipan natin. Kaya mga kapatid, magandang tanong sa point of reflection sa araw na ito. Ano ba yung mga pinapakinggan natin sa mga buhay-buhay natin ngayon? Ang mga pinapakinggan ba natin ay mga bagay-bagay na nagtuturo sa atin sa grasya ng Diyos? Ipinapakilala ba yan ng Diyos sa atin? Yung mga pinapakinggan natin ngayon. Baka naman chismis lang lagi yung pinapakinggan natin, yung mga fake news lang. Ano? Magandang tanongin yan, ano yung mga pinapakinggan natin? At bukod sa ano yung mga pinapakinggan natin, ano ba yung mga alaala na inilalagay natin sa ating mga puso at sa ating mga isipan? Ito ba yung mga alaala ng ating Panginoong Diyos, ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo? O mga alaala na ilalagay natin sa ating mga puso, yung mga masasakit na alaala, yung galit natin sa ating kapwa, yung alaala na inilalagay natin sa ating isipan, ay yung kung paano lang tayo kumita, at paano lang tayo magkaroon ng kapangyarihan sa buhay. Yun lang, wala nang iba. Ang mga inaalala ba natin yung mga bagay-bagay na patungkol sa ating Panginoong Diyos, patungkol sa ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Ang ating mahal na ina, ang laging nasa puso niya, ang laging naisip, nasa isipan niya, ang kanyang anak, ang ating manliligtas. At habang nandun sa kanyang puso at sa kanyang isipan ng kanyang anak, she listens intently. At habang nakikinig ang ating mahal na ina, she re-echoes whatever that she heard from her son to all of us. Kaya nga siguro merong manawag, 
Kaya nga siguro merong tawag ang manawag. This is Mary echoing to us all of the things that she heard from her heart, from her son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Tayo kaya? Nakikinig din? Naglalagay din kaya ng mga alaala ng ating Panginoon Diyos sa mga buhay natin? Tumatawag din kaya tayo? Ang mga boses din kaya natin ay boses ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo para sa ibang tao, kagaya ni Maria. Ano kaya? Magsitayo po tayong lahat. When she let her son become man, God, when he let his son become man, God, showed us how much he wanted to be present to people and to serve us. Let us pray to him, Lord, make us instruments of your love. Lord, make us instruments of your love. For the whole world created by God, that it may serve everyone and lead all to their destiny, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make us instruments of your love. For those who serve us daily, that God may reward them, and that we too may learn to serve, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make us instruments of your love. For ourselves, that the Lord may help us to serve and to love, so that we may be capable of serving wholeheartedly, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make us instruments of your love. For the sick and the aged, who depend on the services of others and for the dead, that we may serve them beyond the grave, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make us instruments of your love. Let us pray for a silent moment for those who may want to help for the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag and for our personal intentions. Lord God, we pray for the spirit of service. Let our life and work be fruitful to many that we may learn to serve as Mary and our Son Jesus Christ served us in the past and now and forever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please all stand. Pray, my dear friends, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, 
overcome with Paschal joy. Every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please all kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember us, our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please all stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we all dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please all kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, the Son of Mary. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, my roof but, but only say, say the word, word, and my soul shall be healed.
please all stand. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We shall now pray the Oracho Imperata for the Archdiocese of Lingay and Lagupan. Let us turn to Mary, help of Christians, for the increase of priestly vocations in the church in Lingay and Lagupan. Let us answer together. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You accompanied your son on his way to Calvary. Walk with our seminarians in their journey of priestly formation. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You are the mother of the Good Shepherd. Inspire our youth to follow the voice of your son and courageously answer his call to be shepherds. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You were with the apostles in prayer on Pentecost Day. Stay with us in prayer so that the fire of the Spirit may descend on our young men seeking their vocation in life. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Your son entrusted to you the beloved disciple at the foot of the cross. Take into your immaculate heart our young men who are reluctant to answer the call to be priests. Mary, help of Christians, grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Let us pray. Mary, help of Christians, we place all our young men under your motherly protection. Inspire them to serve the church as priests of your son. Take under your motherly care our seminarians, being formed for the priesthood. Accompany with your help your priests' sons as they follow your son, who is Lord, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Bago po tayo magtapos ng ating misa, ako po ay magpapasalamat sa ating lector commentator, sa ating acolyte and Eucharistic ministers, at sa inyong lahat po na nakisa sa misa ito. Maraming maraming salamat. Ingat po tayo sa ating pag-uwi at nawabaon ninyo po ang pagpapala ng ating Panginoong Diyos sa pamamagitan ng ating mahal na ina, ang Birhen ng Santo Rosario ng Manawag. Muli po, maraming maraming salamat. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. We all go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall now have the prayer for the blessing of the sick and the blessing of our rosaries and other religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness towards our brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ and Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, May these rosaries, images, candles, oils, and other religious articles, our devotees and pilgrims, be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
Oh, beautiful.